I'm Marcella Lee. The bill would give more than half a million fast food workers more power and protections over the objections of restaurant owners. CBS 8's Regina Urita shows us what's in the bill and how it could have potentially helped some workers today in Coronado. I talked to Andy Gonzalez, a San Diegan who visited a Burger King in Coronado. He says that fast food restaurant had no working air conditioning and workers were working an eight hour shift inside a building where the temperature was almost 95 degrees. With the passage of this new bill, minimum standards could be established for workers. It's humid and it's really sticky in there. So it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's bad. Working at a fast food place is already stressful for fast food workers. But imagine dealing with customer orders at a workplace that has no working AC. That's what Andy Gonzalez encountered on Sunday when I visited the restaurant today. The thermostats at 91 degrees. With service industry workers continuing to operate in grueling and sometimes hazardous conditions, the state Senate passed a bill on Monday that could regulate these issues by creating a council to set wages and improve working conditions for workers. Which will include worker, government and industry representatives to set minimum, minimum standards across California fast food industry that strengthens health and safety protections, shields workers from retaliation, and ensures workplaces are free from discrimination and harassment. Those opposing the bill say it unfairly targets the fast food industry and will drive up food prices. But whether Governor Gavin Newsom signs the bill or not, many like Gonzalez are noticing the poor working conditions that fast food employees are enduring. And that's what bothered me really a lot yesterday, knowing that they're in there and they can't do anything about it except for go in there, work whatever their eight hours is or whatever in that just hot condition. Gonzalez says he also noticed a small fan that was meant to help keep workers safe. It's almost like a slap in the face. It really is. I'd rather see them say, well, you know, we'll get it done. None of the workers at the Burger King were willing to talk and we were unable to reach the manager or owner. A late amendment to the fast food workers bill would cap any minimum wage increase for workers at chains with more than 100 restaurants at $22 an hour next year. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.